New for you this morning, timeshare owners are hoping to finally move forward today, nearly one year after a Grand Strand Resort suddenly closed over fears it could collapse. Our Mikhail Evans joins us live in the control room, laying out the options on the table this afternoon for the Beach House. Michaela, good morning. Lauren Darion, good morning. Beach House Golf and Racquet Club owners have a tough choice to make today about what happens next to their home away from home. We got our hands on a letter from the resort's management company, Capital Vacations, showing owners will choose between repairing the resort, repairing it with added upgrades, or tearing it down. Each one of those options come with a price tag in the millions, and owners can only take a vote if they're up to date on their maintenance fees. Timeshare owner Nina Rosa calculated demolishing the resort would cost him $15,000. He says he cannot simply pull that cash out of thin air. I don't have that kind of money and I'm not going to take a loan out to give them money to tear down the building and they're going to turn around and resell it. And then we have nothing in return. All we want is just what's fair. Those documents from Capital Vacation shows only a quarter of owners are up to date on their maintenance fees. Those who are not cannot vote today, but as we told you earlier this year, some already cut ties and accepted a $250 buyout. Live in the control room, Michaela Evans, WMBF News.